the Bantu people. This is supplementary to the 12th module Bantu Foundations training. We consider every melanin dominant person as a Muntu, a member of the Bantu race, and deliberately ignore artificial or eurogender boundaries and continents. The term Bantu race is one of the most ancient and original term for describing melanin dominant pure breed race on the earth. Going by various names in each continent, we are autochthonous on this planet earth, not in countries whose borders were crafted in Europe. By the way, even the word Bantu itself actually refers to all melanin dominant uh, humans. My religion is Kamitics and my spirituality is Ubuntu Mahati consciousness. Therefore, I am a committee. You can get more information about us from join at marifado.com and also visit our website www.marifado.com. A critic recently questioned how we knew that ancient Bantus predated so called Hebrew Israelites by millions of years without using European scientific dating methods. The answer is obviously clear. We use oral history and uh, mythology, especially. The legendary Dogon myths that have astonished European scientists. The deep astronomic knowledge, complex diagrams, and the millions of life cycles in their creation narratives indicate to trillions of years of melanin dominant humans, also known as Bantu's ancientness. The knowledge of this tribe has stunned the world. For instance, when it comes to creation, here is one of the life cycles they speak of and teach of male and female Numo sharing their grains from the granary of pure earth. And you can see that this is very, very interesting and is from ancient, ancient times, well before the so called Adam or Abraham of the Bible. Out of all of this, the most significant race now is quietly being tucked away is a basic historical fact. In the creation of the pre pharaonic civilization and there is a people known as the anu today they are rarely if ever mentioned in any texts on ancient egypt i wonder why the anu who are these people the giveaway clue is the term anu itself Egyptologists and the anthropologists are busy uh, bearing the anu in heaps of academic speculations if you look at the word Anu, you can see the reason why. Now, let us say any people who let their oppressor change the meaning of their name to something ugly are uh, a psychologically controlled people because it's cultural genocide to do that. Even Kunta Kinte knew that. This word Anu is the same word Anu, Banu, Antu, Antu. And now it becomes clear that this is the word Batu. Banu and Bantus. One of the lies that have been used to try to distort that this is not the word or that this word doesn't mean anything is the so called Bantu migration hypothesis driving current scholastic definitions of the term Bantu. Suffice to say, the migration has been moved deliberately from east to west. And that is proved because our ancestors tamed the place where they came from, Tanganyika. There. Tanga means beginning, Nika means of the earth or of life. There in the Great Lakes uh, region, even DNA has approved and proved uh, this. As long as the uh, critics say we shouldn't use anything that comes from European science, we have given the word Tanga Nika, it doesn't come from European science. You ask any of the oral history of the people here in ancient times, they tell you they came from a place near here great lakes the names the languages still mimic same languages found here and we moved from here to all the four corners of the earth to become autochthonous in places that had never never had a human set foot on they call us negritos they call us pygmies they call us twa or anything but that's the fact that's the truth another way is to also look at pictographs and pictures and images because our ancestors left clear-cut images of who they, they were and where they came from and what they did in life. So clearly, uh, we see here the Mesnut, this Astitopigia uh, royal queen, 
The image is found in a place called Punt, and our argument is that Punt is not the Punt shown and proved by scholars. Since P equals B and V equals P and B, Punt can be rewritten as Buntu. Buntu. Bantu. And the scholars will scream and say, no, but they are the same people that have told us all that. The ancient Hamites, the ancient people of Egypt, so-called Egypt, called their place of origin Taseti, which was found in Nubia, Nubge, here, central Great Lakes, again, the beginning of the Nile. That's why they worship the beginning of the Nile, because all this southern part of Egypt, they call it heaven, or paradise, or Amentu, which is, means the high lands, the lands of the divine, the lands of the gods. Same thing with our ancestors in the southern here, or western or eastern, they called this area holy land. Mary, Mary, Ta Mary. It's quite clear, you do not need anyone to come and approve it. More distortions of this uh, Antu or Anu Bantu migrations. European Gentile Bantu migration hypothesis ignores the fact that traditionally the word Bantu means Bantu means melanin dominant people, not only the languages they spoke. So they want to push it here and then bring them to the Great Lakes and then spread them here because they know and they've realized that this is the source. So they want to start them here in the Niger Benua confluence. But when you go here into Mali, they tell you that the Dogons are not Bantus. They tell you uh, that um, other groups of people are not uh, Bantus. How could that be? It's uh, quite impossible because Bantu means melanin dominant human. Bantu migration restorative understanding today is inclusive of the traditional definition of Bantu as melanin dominant people of the origin of the Bantus in ancient times that moved and populated the Great Lakes and also their beginning at the Great Lakes right up to all they are. They call them pre-proto-Bantu people and Shibanu and then we come south and also moved along up the Nile into the whole part of the earth. Ancient Egypt is a Bantu civilization. Rumechku. Also, Ba. And in Tu. They, this, this, this is a powerful word. This is a powerful name. Asa Imhotep has explained this thoroughly. Get his book, Ahaluja Volume 2. He goes into detail, proves step by step. If you doubt, it is your right. This is quite clear and open uh, knowledge. The most significant fact of the founding of pharaonic civilization by the Anu, the Bantu people, is rarely, if ever, mentioned in texts on ancient Hamid or Egypt. The Torah itself hides this by writing the place Anu is on. The Greeks changed it to Heliopolis by deliberately twisting this noun and not mentioning Anu. This is actually waste. Here is also proof from a French archaeologist and Egyptologist who was honest enough to tell the whole world that the ancient Egyptians, their ancestors were the Bantus. There, it's quite clear, the Anu people, the first people of Egypt. The French Egyptologist Emile Amelinon, who dedicated himself to the first dynasties and excavated for the first time the tombs of the pharaohs of the first dynasty, in Upper Egypt, down south, discovered the evidence of a highly developed people who were, na who were named the Anu and who were black Africans. These people practiced breeding and agriculture all along the Nile. They mastered the use of metals, of ivory, which is obvious, found in southern Africa, were very organized and knew how to write. They also had cities named after them, like the one we have already given as an example. You go to this uh, Facebook site, you will find more, more, more information about this Terraneta devoted to the one creator. On Anu Heliopolis in Semitic inscription, there were no Semites anywhere at that time, but this is the Bible which some of our brothers and sisters now try to use as the evidence for their belief that they uh, predate ancient Hamid, ancient Egypt, or they predate the Bantus, or that the Bantus are Hebrew Israelites. The Bantus are not Hebrew Israelites. It's impossible. They can't be. We are not Semites. 
we are original and indigenous so here is what they write in the bible they also go in genesis uh 41 40, verse 45 and 50 uh, where they name this city on the city of on and they also in ezekiel they try to rename it aven to bypass it aven is abantu because v and b same thing so a b n is about it's quite clear this is the city of all that was changed uh by the torah and also changed uh by uh, the greeks again the bantu people these anu ethiopians nubians were agricultural people who raised their cattle on a large scale along the nile shutting themselves up in walled cities for defensive purpose stone also a group of their tribes moved southward and built cities like mazimbabwe and mapungube and the Zata, which was later named Kami, Hamit, there in Zimbabwe. So they also named many places uh, before others came in and put their names on it. So the Anu, the city of Heliopolis, Coptics call it on. Anu Ne, Anu of the north, Heliopolis. Anu Shemo, Anu of the south, Hemothis or Emant. These are new names. Anu Mont. Anu of Hemothis, Anu Tem, Tema means black, Anu Atema, the Anu of Tem, Hemothis, Anu Re, Anu O Bakalanka, Anu of the Sun, who greet goddess of the Duat of Anu, Jajane Anu, the Anu of the court of uh, judges, Anu Puto, the Anu of Tuta Tendera, Anu Anute, uh, the Anu of Nute, the heavens. Which is also Dendera, meaning all the zodiacal signs and astronomical sciences, uh, sacred signs. You go to this website and you see a lot of it. So, this term, uh, this city, Dendera, there is a bed actually known as Dendera in Zimbabwe. There is a music genre known as Dendera in honor of this bed of Jigahute uh, of wisdom. So, this is, judging by sheer numbers of the titles, the most venerated city of Hamid. Uh, Dendera. After all, this was the city where the parents of the Kemetian nation, Isisu and uh, Oresu and uh, Ausarizre were born. It is also in the same neighborhood as the city called Nakada. Nakada. Straightforward, you do not need to uh, go in. So, where did the ancient Egyptians themselves tell us where they came from? Straightforward, they told us that they originated here, Great Lakes uh, regions. They did not have any doubt. They were not Semitic. The evolution of Egyptian Kola 3,000 years later. Today, this is Kalenjin Pokot Kola. And there is also the ancient Egyptian Kola 3,000 years ago. These are the same people. They are again ancient Egyptian and Bantu beard work. These are the Nguni uh, women. There, you can see them. And this is a cat. We call it Ashishakati in Shishdao. And also history of the Bantu uh, body straps. 3,000 years later, this is Zulu. There. And also, there is Egyptian and there is Tutsi. If you doubt this and say dismiss this, your mind has been programmed by the Euro Gentiles. There is no one who can give you more information and you can believe it. You can see that the, even the word Bantu itself can be spelled in hieroglyphics. has been found in hieroglyphics spelled as this way. Ba, Ntu. Ba means the soul, spirit, and in two means the human body with a totem, a black or melanin, brown human body with a totem and all the spiritual connections. There's a lot about this word. And there are the Melanesian or Bantus. Uh, these are from Solomon Islands. The same as any Muntu. These are melanin dominant humans no two ways about it no two ways about it and no doubt about there again eighth white anu band races men in dominant andaman island girls and also dravidian girls and dravidian soldier there same people no difference at all any people who lets their oppressor change the meaning of their name to something ugly is a psychological controlled people because it's cultural genocide even Kunta Kinte knew that the title given to this image that these are analytics is useless and is also divisive. The current distribution of Nilo Saharan languages, Nilotic Africans, is a wrong, wrong approach to everything. Why? The term Nilotic is a Euro Gentile word coined from Nilus, 
Roman meaning thin, long, like a pencil. The river Nile was previously called Apke, meaning one that never runs dry. Blessings always flowing with water. Not Nilotic. These are Banu or Bantus, melanin dominant humans of this stuff. Applied Ubuntu Maati consciousness perceives that our divine and ancestral memories are rich with the history and totemic activation which awakens our incredible melanin dominant identity. Every melanin dominant Muntu or Bantu can enjoy their true identity totemic activation and rediscovery of true greatness. Scholars and others will continue to manipulate facts so as to keep us down but time to rise up once and for good Connect with us as we embark on many powerful and exciting projects. Our email is join at marifado.com shown here in this uh, slide. Bantus are indigenous on the earth. Subscribe to our channel, Kamiti Buru Ethics. This is our email, join at marifado.com. This picture is by LM Dumizulu saying, Bantus, till we meet again, Edupes, Yabonga, Tatenta, Enkos.